Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. I'm back, not officially, because I'm currently having a lot of computer problems and everything. I'll get into that in a minute, but I just want to say hello, I hope you're doing good. I have not done a video in a ridiculously long time and I am so sorry. It was meant to be a month originally, the month of August, and then it led into September, and now it is October. But this video will be out Saturday, the first Saturday of October. I don't know when that is, but hello. I hope you're doing good. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I am going to get into my computer problems and then I'll kind of talk about other things. But oh, now my cat is here. My cat is in my room and whenever I do a voiceover while my cat's in the room, she gets very curious as to why I'm talking. But she'll be fine. She'll, she'll leave in a minute. She'll just go back to sleep. But anyway, so a couple of weeks ago, playing Sims, computer freezes. Really weird. Why is it freezing? So then I stopped loading up my game using the smoothest patch launcher in case there was an issue with that, which I've had issues with before, but you know, then my game was fine. So that was perfect. Then computer's freezing again. And I'm like, that's so weird. Then my monitor, my main monitor disconnects, stopped working. So then I was like, oh my God, please don't say there's an issue with the PC or monitor or anything like that. Please say it's just an easy fix. Then I fix it. It's okay. I don't even know what I did. But it came back, stopped, like, started working again. Then, yesterday, my monitor turned off again and stopped working and I couldn't get it back to work. And I tried different HDMI cables and all sorts and there was nothing. So my brother had a look at it and my dad as well. And they kind of came to the conclusion that it's probably, like, a graphics card issue. As in, like, so, oh, I'm trying to explain it. I don't understand anything, but I was being explained everything to make it simpler but basically one monitor the hdmi cable is plugged in to the graphics card slot and then the other one is plugged into the motherboard hdmi slot if that makes sense so the one in the motherboard slot is working it's the one i'm currently working on right now whereas the graphics card one doesn't work i swapped the working cable on the monitor that i'm working on right now to the graphics card one just to see if it works and it doesn't. So we've tried everything that works and we've kind of come to the conclusion that it's probably something like that, which is so annoying. I am able to play Sims, but for some reason, like, I don't know if it's a graphics card issue, but the lighting and the colouring and everything of the game is just really messed up. I had to rejig all of my settings and everything. So that's very annoying, but I'm hoping it's something that will be fixed soon. I am able to build, like I was saying, just not that well, so do not expect videos that often at all. But enjoy this video, I really hope you like it. And um, yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to get used to voiceovers again, but um, yeah, I hope you guys like the house. I'm so sorry that it's been two months, but you guys have still been showing massive love on my videos and commenting on them and subscribing and everything. And I just want to say a massive thank you because I really appreciate it. And I've been active. I've been seeing all the comments and everything like that. I just haven't been posting, but I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just really trying to get back active and, you know, making stuff again. So, um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, but currently I'm working from one monitor, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I'm so used to working with two. When I'm working with one, I keep going to like move OBS onto this monitor and things like that. Just little things that I would do without even thinking about before, whereas now I can't do that. So it's very difficult to kind of edit a video and drag clips from files into this and everything like that. Um, but I'm getting there. You know, I'll try and do what I can using one monitor if I can and um, see how things go, I guess. But I have kind of gotten back into building. I've kind of had a bit of an interest in building and typical old computer problems that, you know, they decide to just mess everything up right when I have a bit more interest in building and everything. They just decide to take all that interest away and just throw it in the bin. So yeah, um, I'll see what I can do, like I said, but yeah. Anyway, in the two months that I haven't uploaded, I've literally done nothing. I've, I've been back to school which is good. I went back to school end of August and I've had a lot of tests already, a lot of work and homework and everything. So I really just haven't had a lot of time. But this weekend, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to build. I really enjoy it. I'm really in the mood to build. 
And um, yeah, that is not what I did because I cannot do that anymore. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make a video just to kind of give a little update as to well, what is going on and where I am, that I'm all good because I know not everyone is well, not everyone follows me on other socials. I haven't really been active on Twitter, but I did mention earlier, w w when you're seeing this, it will be like a week or two ago, but it will actually have just been like earlier today when I was saying I had computer problems and everything. But um, yeah, I'm very sorry. This house though, it is up for download if you want to see it, at, um, you know, check it out and everything. And if by any chance I'm able to build houses, but I just really can't edit them because it, editing is really difficult with one monitor because you're kind of dragging things over from all different places that having two monitors is so much handier for that. If by any chance I'm not able to, houses will go up for download and you can just download them and when I can do another video, or edit the video I mean, I will do that. But yeah, that's literally all the news I have. I have no updates at all. Like, which is crazy. It's been two months and I have no updates whatsoever. Um, oh my god, how is there nothing? I'm trying to think. But like, I've just kind of been at school. That's really all there is. Been at school and then I come home, do my homework, and then I just nap. And then it, it's like a repeating cycle. And I'm trying to be positive because I know how easily I can kind of fall down a little, little loophole of negative, like, you know, emotions and everything. And I just really don't want that to happen. Sorry, I had to take my cat out. She is like ripping posters off my wall. I don't even know what I was saying. I think I was just saying how it's like a constant cycle of like school and everything like that, which is annoying because it means that you end up with like no time for anything else. But... I'm trying to use any little bit of time that I have to make videos and stuff like that because I do enjoy it but I say it every time I just end up doing it too much and I get burnt out or you know what I mean things like that which is very annoying but I don't know I'll see how things go. I really hope you guys are doing good though because I haven't like been in contact I haven't been you know active a whole lot on any social medias but I hope you guys are doing good. I'm trying to think if there's anything going on in the world. I literally, like, before doing voiceovers, I'm able to think of, like, so many things to talk about. But then the second I press start recording, my mind goes blank. And all those, like, ideas of things to talk about are gone. But I'm trying to think. Oh, there is a new stuff pack for The Sims 4, which is very exciting. What is it? Kitchen stuff or something like that? Something to do with kitchens, anyway. I haven't had a proper look at it. But people seem to really like it. But my thought is like, if, for example, if we got that kitchen stuff as a kit, would people like it as much? Or are they loving it because it's a stuff pack? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. But I'm just thinking like, how good is the pack that people are loving it that much? But when I take a look, I will give you an updated thought, I guess. Updated thoughts on that. But um, yeah, this house... I love it. It is called Fairlands. I haven't even introduced the house yet. Normally I do that at the beginning. I'm just so all over the place today trying to get things done and a video out and everything. But I love this house. I want to start making more cozy autumnal houses and I'm actually currently in the process of building one but obviously can't really do that right now. But um, this one is really nice though. It is cozy and everything. A lot of my houses recently, as in like a couple months ago, they've been very similar with like this house where they're kind of green walls and everything that's just what I like and that's kind of present in a lot of houses but um like I said it's just what I like I try and change it up as much as I can but to me it's very cozy and nice not too green but it's like a nice it's a nice kind of bit of color in the house which I really really like so I hope you like that too but like I said house up for download feel free to check it out and download it if you want to. Um, I, like, I'll like i be honest, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, I have so many videos on YouTube to catch up on. I have had no time, like I said, like I keep mentioning, but like so many other simmers have been posting videos and I've been seeing so many of them and not watching them because I just, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to watch too much Sims because I know that that will make me tired of it again. I just want to really get into it, start playing it. But recently, I've been watching so many like horror games and everything. I don't know. I'm kind of just in that kind of mood. It's today's October 1st. 
start of the Halloween season, as I like to say. But is anybody dressing up for Halloween? Is anybody kind of watching loads of horror movies? My goal is to watch like one halloween horror movie a day and then I will be very happy. Today I watched Hubie Halloween. I think that's how you say it. Hubie, Hub, I, I, whatever. But it is Adam Sandler and loads of random celebrities. If you haven't seen it, it's just like a nice, funny kind of movie. I watched it last year, so this is like a rewatch. But I, I, you know, I love it. It's a nice way to start off the month, which I'm very happy about. But Monster House was on Netflix and they took it off yesterday, the 30th of September. And I was like, are you kidding me? Because that is like a really creepy, but really fun movie. And it is gone, so I can't watch it. I can obviously watch it online somewhere. I can find it, but it's just annoying. And I think I have it on DVD. I'm sure it's on DVD somewhere in my house too, but it's just annoying. Very, very annoying. But um, I have been watching so many movies. If you don't know, there's an app called Letterboxd and I have that and I've been like watching so many movies and keeping track of everything. In, hmm, what was it, August? In August, I watched 40 one movies which is like crazy to even think about that's more than like a movie a day based you know which I'm sure you all know how months work but that is more than a movie a day and yeah it's just all random things a lot of them are rewatches of different things but I honestly don't even know where the time went I don't even know how I was able to do that but I did it and um last month September I watched 20... 21 or something like that. I didn't watch as many because obviously being back to school. However, that's surprisingly good for being back to school and not having a lot of time. But normally what I do is any bit of time that I have, I will watch movies and, you know, oh, I'm doing a bit of homework. Stick on a movie to watch nice and easy. And yeah, I don't know. It's nice. But I love movies. I think they're so fun. I was honestly considering like in the future doing something to do with film but I don't know if I want to do that because I think films they're I I like watching them but I don't know if I want to be involved in things like that I don't know it's a lot to consider not just that kind of career but just in general careers in general there's so much to think about and I honestly it's very overwhelming so yeah there's so much going on right now but yeah I don't know (sighs) but yeah I'm just kind of trying to build and stuff to not keep my mind off of it or distract myself but just as something to something else to think about I suppose um so I'm not constantly kind of thinking about things like that but um oh my god we have so I'm doing art this year for like school and stuff and it's so good it's great I'm having so much fun because my friends are doing it too and it's just a really nice subject I'm really enjoying it but oh my god, like, okay, my teacher thinks she's great and all, giving us, like, telling us what's upcoming and everything, and she's like, we we know what we're doing up to Christmas, and it's great, but it's a little overwhelming because we know what we're doing for an October assessment, like a Halloween ex- assessment kind of a thing. We've got another thing due in November and another one done in December, and we need to be working on everything, you know, like, for homework, as the day's going on and everything, But while doing all that, we're also doing other work in class. So it's very confusing. It's very overwhelming because every single day the teachers are telling us different things, or the one teacher, the art teacher is telling us different things we're doing in the class and what we need to do for homework. But she was like saying, one day she'd be like, okay, and for your October is exam. And then the next day she could call it a Halloween assessment. And it's so confusing. It's such a little thing, but it's so confusing because... I am like, are they the same thing? Is an October assessment the same as the Halloween exam? But it's just, she's just, the way she's saying it, it's just so confusing. Oh, anyway, I don't know. It's such a minor thing, but it's just annoying. Oh my God, yeah. I So the other day, like I was just laying in bed or whatever, looking at my phone. And then my dad and my brother was like, Nula, come here, come here quick. I went out and there was a hedgehog on our back door, which was very, very nice. We live in the countryside. Even then, a hedgehog on the back door is very, very strange and not seen ever. So that was very exciting. And we had to bring it. Like, our cats were, like, all kind of sniffing it and everything. They were fine. They didn't, obviously, go near it because it's a hedgehog. Like, they don't know what it is. 
but my brother had to get gloves obviously because it's like a hedgehog and it's spiky and everything and lift it into like a bunch of bushes and trees just to get it out of the way just because it's on our back door we don't want to accidentally stand on it or something but um that was so cute if I have photos I'll put them up but I think it was just there was so much excitement going on that I didn't get any photos but it was so cute it was just really strange but I loved it but anyway I'm near the end of the speed build oh my god this voiceover was a complete mess I was rambling on for ages which I'm so sorry about because it's been kind of just back to doing voiceovers I'm not used to it so I apologize but future voiceovers will hopefully be a bit more organized and there will be more you know consistency and things I'm talking about not a lot of ums and ahs and everything but I hope you're doing good please download this house if you haven't already and you know subscribe so you never miss any of the videos especially while my schedule is very inconsistent you do not want to miss a video but I'm really planning on coming back and also if anybody has any tips or if anybody is kind of very you know knowledgeable on graphics cards and issues with graphics cards please let me know I would really really appreciate the help because I have no idea what's going on with mine and what's going on with my PC but if you have any like ideas or anything you can dm me on um twitter or even comment on youtube on this video and i and you can let me know something but anyway enjoy the rest of the video the screenshots and everything and i will leave you here and see you all in another video so goodbye